Hey everyone, in this video I'll be talking about using an ESP8266 as a Wi-Fi controlled universal remote. Using a web page hosted on the ESP8266, I can send commands to the different devices using the IR LED. Most of the commands are pretty simple, such as volume down will send the volume down command to the receiver, but some of them are a little bit more complex, such as the Chromecast one, which actually sends multiple commands to multiple different devices. This won't be a definitive guide or anything, seeing as some things aren't working great for me, such as inputs to the satellite receiver, but hopefully you'll find it interesting and it'll be a good starting point if you want to do this project. Let's take a look at the hardware. The bottom of the board is the circuitry to do with sending the commands from the IR LED. Rather than connecting the LED directly to a pin of the board, we use a transistor to turn it on and off. This allows more current to flow through the LED, which will make it shine brighter. I'm using a 2N3904 transistor, but I think a 2N2222 transistor is a better choice as it allows for more current to flow through it. For reading the codes, I'm using a sensor that's based on the TL1838 IR receiver. The library I'm using is IR Remote ESP8266 by Mark Szabo. It is available on the library manager, but the instructions on GitHub say to get it from there. To capture the commands from the remotes, I'm using the IR receive dump v2 example from the library. Just make sure you update the receive pin to be the pin that you're using for your IR receiver. Open up the serial monitor and press the button of the remote that you want to record. I recommend recording it a couple of times to make sure that you've got an accurate reading. Take note of the encoding and the code. Do this for each button that you want to emulate. Once you have the different button commands you want to emulate, you can take a look at the basic web remote example that's on my GitHub. I'll link to it in the description below. The web page is made up of button elements. Every time a button is clicked, it makes an AJAX call to the ESP8266. Each button has a unique URL that it makes a call to. The endpoint behind each URL contains the commands that you want to perform with each button press. If you're interested in building a similar device, check out the GitHub page where you'll find the code, the hardware list and the circuit diagram. Hopefully it'll prove to be a good starting point for this kind of a project. I'll be revisiting this in future videos because I think there's some cool things you can do with a device like this. If you have any questions, please ask in the comment section below. Thanks a lot.